everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be talking about a medication or supplement known as vitamin E. A brand name for this medication will be Alpha E. Now, before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So vitamin E is considered an essential nutritional element. As an antioxidant, in conjunction with dietary selenium, vitamin E protects polyunsaturated fats and membranes and other structures from attacks by free radicals. And it also protects red blood cells from hemolysis, or rupturing. Now, in terms of indications for use, vitamin E is typically used when somebody has a vitamin E deficiency. Now, before somebody was to use vitamin E, there is a contraindication that they must clear, which in this case would just be that it's contraindicated to be used intravenously in low birth weight infants. There's also some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. If somebody has a blood clotting disorder or is using anticoagulants, while using vitamin E, the bleeding time may be affected, so monitoring would be recommended. If somebody is undergoing a facial chemical peel or dermabrasion, topical vitamin E should be avoided for a few weeks after the procedure. Now, once somebody has cleared that contraindication and is made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use vitamin E, the dosing that they will use will depend on the reason they're using this medication. If they're using it for its main indication, that is a vitamin E deficiency, they would typically use 32 to 50 milligrams per day. Some patients are also instructed to use four to five times the daily recommended allowance, which would be 15 milligrams a day, and doses can go as high as 300 milligrams daily. Occasionally, patients with tardive dyskinesias may use vitamin E, and they would typically use 1,200 to 1,600 international units daily. For non-alcoholic fatty liver, patients may use 1,000 international units of vitamin E with 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C for about six months. This would be taken once daily. In terms of side effects with vitamin E, there are not many common side effects. However, there are some more rare but serious side effects, so I'll go over some of those here now. Patients may rarely experience hemorrhage, hepatitis, or sepsis, and they also may experience a retinal hemorrhage or a pulmonary embolism. That's all we're going to talk about today with vitamin E. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.